hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so in this video i will show you how to make a split text transition effect in video pad you can do that in after effects but you can also as well do that in video pad so today i will show you how to do that so for that stay tuned and subscribe for more tutorials visual effects and other stuff so let's get started okay guys so here we go so first of all just import this picture i downloaded it from the internet you can also download it too there it is so just hold it and drag and drop in the video pad okay that's it now what we will do is insert the text that we will split so here you can see this is the text just type in what text you want and the color you can see i set the color just as that picture see that kind of pinkish color and the outline color i selected with that blue line so that's it okay now what we will do is press on that fx button to open the effects tab and now select add effect mask polygon mask okay so just enlarge that window to make it to make it look clear and now just place it well like that so now what we'll do is place that mask you can see so that it cuts the text just as i am doing and uh, i should have changed the text so it's no problem you can just press there and type in the text what you want i'll type my channel name spectamen okay so just uh, i think we can just place that polygon better so just place there on top of the t okay cool now you can close that window because what we need to do now is we will insert the position effect okay so here you see i opened the keyframes and then in the center also i inserted a keyframe and i didn't move it so because i want it to stay in the position until a few frames and then when it reaches the last it will be moved just like that down and uh, a little to the side as well and uh, that's it and now i will apply another position effect and that will be below all the effects before the mask also so the whole text will move up and uh, you can see at the start and at the end at the start just insert a keyframe like that and at the center similarly another keyframe so that it doesn't moves and then at the end just move the whole text up and a little to the other side so in this way now when i come to the last effect some part will move up and some down so it's looking much cooler there you can see it okay now we can close that window and it will pop up again here and you can see there in the preview window okay and now we will insert another empty blank with black color so that it will look like there is a cut on the screen so there it is at blank and now insert it in the time frame timeline sorry okay now we will also cut it but before that just apply the transparency effect so that you can see below this now apply this effect mask and now we will just cut it such that there is a cut on the screen we will just place the mask such that there is a cut on the screen you can see what i am doing is i am just making the shape of a knife cut and apply another transparency mask so that it will remove the parts that are outside the cut and now we can remove the first uh, first transparency effect that we applied so that we don't now don't need that now in the transparency decrease the transparency so the other parts are completely transparent now you can see that cut is not completely on the point so you have to position the polygon mask polygon mask better you can see what i'm doing is i'm just placing it you can hold on the shift key 
so then these points will not snap to the nearest points and you can move them freely later we will animate this also so that when the text is going split this will also becomes larger and so insert two keys at the start and end of the timeline for this polygon mask polygon mask and in the center also now we will just scale this down because it doesn't need to be visible before the text has started cutting and remove the start keyframe so that it's already not visible just like that and now you can see at the last frame and i guess we can move this a little before in time so that it starts before the cutting of the text okay at the end frame just scale this uh, mask a little more so it will look much better yes just like that you can see it's already looking cool just be sure to make it precisely and correctly okay there you can see it looks really nice but still there is that black spot and the start so we will remove that also no worries so just you can see apply the clear mask so now whatever effect you apply it will be applied onto the whole whole surface so i'll apply the transparency and uh, increase it to the full at there i guess just at there and then insert a keyframe and then before a few frames just decrease it to zero so now you can play it so you can see it doesn't it is not visible before starting cutting you can just move it a little before in time so it will be much cool because that before the cutting of the text this slice will appear so you will it will gives the look that this has sliced the text okay now i enlarged this window and there it is it's much cooler now now we will apply the blur effect so that the sharpness and the cut is not too much just decrease well enough down just make it zero and then increase a few increments okay just like that it's fair enough and now in this text layer just clear the mask and now apply the shadow effect the shadow is for the reason to make it glow just as the in the background that circle is glowing so we will do that also and apply the glowing just as that circle you can see just like that so that it blends in nicely and uh, make this outline of the text completely white because that is the main part so the glowiness around that is has the color and the center has no color you can apply the shadow effect a few a few more times to achieve a better glowing effect okay that's it okay that's it so now select the background layer just like that and uh, now i will apply a fish eye effect and then animate it so it will give the look that you are going near to it in 3d space so increase the scale so it covers the whole screen and now in the strength just go below zero just below zero yes just like that and then insert a keyframe and then go to the last frame and then insert another keyframe that will be more lower 
and then insert a scale effect so that it's getting larger also insert a keyframe at the start and at the end increase the scale just like that i have hidden the i have hidden the text layer so that it's faster now you can see it looks like you are going near to that circle now make the text layer again visible and there it looks very nice you can use this effect for your videos for your title intros and for your animations and everything i guess okay so that's it guys that's how you make the split text in video pad so i am sure you would have liked this video so if you did so then make sure to click on that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe for more tutorials and visual effects also so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching